Manually de-squeezing your anamorphic video in LumaFusion for iOS is remarkably simple. First, tap to open the Project Manager. Then tap the plus button to create a new project. Select the frame rate that matches the footage you recorded in Filmic Pro and tap the chevron to accept. Next, tap to set your frame aspect ratio and make sure this is set to 2.36 to 1 for a proper de-squeeze to take place. Tap the chevron to accept, then tap the plus button to create the project. Now if you've previously saved your Filmic Pro video to the Photos app, you can import it by selecting Photos from the Source Browser, then navigating to Albums, Videos, and double tapping on your anamorphic video to add it to the timeline. If however your videos are stored in the Filmic Library and not in the Photos app, switch to Filmic Pro, then tap to open the library. Tap to open the clip that you want to share, then tap the Share Target button on the right hand side of the interface, and select Import with LumaFusion to copy the clip to LumaFusion's internal media library. And from here it can be double tap to add it to your timeline. By default LumaFusion will scale your clip to fit it within the 2.36 to 1 aspect ratio, however it has not successfully de-squeezed it, only uniformly scaled it so it fills the frame. To de-squeeze it, double tap your clip to open it in the Frame and Fit editor, and tap to reveal the Fit Mode selectors. As you can see, Fill is currently applied. To de-squeeze the anamorphic footage, tap to apply the Stretch option, and your video will be instantly de-squeezed to the correct 2.36 to 1 aspect ratio. Tap the back arrow to close and accept. Now this is an easy process if you're working with a single clip, but in order to avoid applying the stretch fit mode manually every time a clip is added to the timeline, we can set this as the default by tapping the cog icon, then global settings, and selecting stretch as the default. Tap the X to close. Now any clips added to your timeline will automatically be de-squeezed.